I'm back to another video and today guys we'll be taking a look at the new Granger 3600LX. Now this would be the second variant of this vehicle that we have in game. The original came out with the launch of the game in 2013. Now moving into the customizations, we could immediately see that this vehicle is a very optioned vehicle. But I will advise you guys to not buy this thing for speed because honestly it's I think it's meant to be a op a uh, free roam cruising vehicle honestly because compared to the jubilee the astron who why would rockstar make this thing competitive against those so as you can see imani tech is available as i said putting on the armor plating and the missile lot jammer now moving into the liveries i have to change the color just to let you guys see that one I like these deliveries, but none of them are good enough for me to put on this vehicle, honestly, if I'm gonna have to pay full price for it. But I'm gonna change the vehicle back to white and then I'm gonna continue the customization. So, yeah, this will good, this good. Okay, so, where were we? Uh, past deliveries. Yeah, so carbon mirrors, primary mirrors, secondary mirrors. Wouldn't put primary carbon mirrors on a truck like this. Wind deflector or oh, a snorkel. I wonder if that works. Plate, mm, probably not. Slick. I'm surprised that this thing actually has a roll cage, which is insane. Uh, I wonder who put that at EDD together. So, roof rack. Light bar, no. I really don't like light bars on uh, Tahoes. This is about the, I think it's a Chevy Tahoe, which is the main, it looks more like a Tahoe than a Suburban, so I would like to say it's a uh, Tahoe. Turbo tuning, I, I see that's 50% off this week. Uh, wheels, I won't change the wheels. Let's see how they look though. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, so let's drive the vehicle on the street and then we're gonna see how it performs. Cause I already owned a, uh, a Gen 1 Ranger before. I'd like to see how this one stacks up. Ah, here we go. If you if you guys never seen a uh, first the first Ranger, I just don't recognize it. The name, this vehicle on the right to my car would be the first Ranger that's in the game. Now I love the transformation of where it came from. I love that they make it look even more realistic. This the first one was obviously a mix and match, like it's inspiration inspiration based, but this one is just a few changes from the real life variant now what i do love about this spirit this vehicle the uh, interior is actually good this is actually how a chevy um heavy duty vehicle would have the interior set up now i find it funny that rockstar put a better interior in this one than the jubilee which is based off the rose voice color net. but moving on from that topic on to the driving of the vehicle, which is most important if it's a good buy or not. Honestly, in a straight line, this thing seems to move a little bit faster than the original Granger, but definitely, I'd have to test it to be confirm if that's true. But now, for the handling and the acceleration, it's definitely improved because the, uh, the response that uh, you could get from this vehicle just by pushing the trigger or the button for it to go it's definitely 
uh, faster. So, in terms of that, I would definitely buy this thing if I had the money. If you have the money, definitely buy it. If you don't, however, it's not necessarily a must buy right now. As you can see, there's no trade price on this vehicle. I definitely wait for a discount. And there's also one more vehicle, so we could. There's a motorcycle coming up next. So if you want to buy that instead of this, I definitely hope we for that. As you can see, the engine. Oh, this guy is really just tearing the car up, huh? As you can see, the engine model is not that great. They could have used the engine model from the Galavante Brawler ST. Unfortunately, they they copped out on that. But where they where it really matters, they put the vehicle together, and that's what I think. So that's basically it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. As you can see, the, the rear kind of went left at the end. Unfortunately, GTM PCs just really don't care. Okay, that's it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching.